Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is our body weight Tabata workout. We're gonna go four back-to-back -back rounds of each exercise. That's 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. And while I will be providing easier modifications for today's workout, this is not a beginner routine. No. If you are a true beginner, we recommend that you check out one of our beginner workouts. There's no equipment required for today's workout, but you may want to use a mat for comfort. All right, if you're ready to go, let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started with the warm up. We're gonna start on the floor for the first one. We're gonna start in a high plank position. We're doing a spider lunge extension. So go ahead and start in that high plank position with your right foot, step up by your right hand. Next, we're gonna reach up with your right arm, extend that right arm straight up, and then extend as you keep your eyes on that hand, extend that arm back behind you, bring it back. Return that arm to the ground and repeat. So we love this one because you are warming up and stretching so many different body parts at the same time. From our thoracic spine to our legs, groin, arm, core, all getting stretched on this one. It's a great mobility move. Nice little dynamic stretch to loosen you up before this workout. And the whole point of the warm up is Get your heart rate up a little bit and at the same time, prepare your muscles for and joints for what's to come. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides now. So step back with your right leg, step up with your left leg and back into the spider lunge extension. Arms straight up, extend, and then follow that arm as it extends and reaches back and reverse. Keep your core tight on this one. Back stays straight. Definitely not a race on this one. Just moving at a warm up pace. Excellent. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath, whatever you do. That holds true for the warm up and especially it's gonna hold true for the workout. And let's repeat this one for just five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, while we're down here, we're gonna stretch out our wrists. So we're gonna do both an extension and a flexion. Let's go ahead and start with those fingertips facing you. Turn those hands around. Now, the further back you are, the more stretch you're gonna feel, and the further forward you are, the less stretch. So you really want you to determine what is an appropriate amount of stretch for you. And we're just gonna hold. Holding this one for just 10 seconds, loosening those wrists out preparing them for these loading exercises and supporting your own body weight. And three, two, one, zero. Okay, let's go ahead and turn those hands over now. So fingertips again are facing you. And the easy, this is gonna be easier if you really get your, uh, your arms directly underneath you and your hands nice and close to you. I'm trying to get the back of your hand flat on the ground the best you can. And then if you're able to do that, I want you to lean back ever so gently to apply pressure. And on these, you might not be anywhere near the flexibility that we're at today. You might only be here with your hands. Again, I can't stress to you enough to really make these stretches your own and to apply the right amount of pressure for your fitness and flexibility level. I'm holding this one for just three, two, one and zero. Good. All right. Shake oh, those up. that's a good up. one. I like that. Yeah, especially after spending all the time on our phones and our keyboards. Yep. All right. Moving on to a scapular push-up. So again, from all fours, just go ahead and loosen up that back. We're going to drop your midsection and chest to the ground. Squeeze your back and scapula together and then stretch like you're being pulled straight up from your back with a string. And then again, drop and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze the scapulas and extend and pull up like somebody's got that string attached in the middle of your back. Going to both extreme ends. 
Making sure to breathe back and forth. Doing this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's return to our feet for the next one. We're gonna get our heart rate up just a little bit and loosen up those legs. We're gonna do an arm crossover plus butt kick. This is a great one because we're hitting the upper body and lower body at the same time. Keep a slight bend in those elbows throughout and alternate which arm is on top. And again, we're just moving at a warm up pace here. So we want to get that heart rate up a little bit, but you shouldn't be getting to the point here where you're really fatiguing yourself. We'll have plenty of time for that coming up. Oh yeah. <laughs> side to side, trying to kick yourself in your butt on this one. Good, great one to stretch out those quadriceps as well as your shoulders and your chest. Breathe, not much time left on this one. And let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, warm up is complete. I'm ready. Time to start this Tabata workout. And just as a reminder, like we said, we're gonna do four rounds of each exercise, 20 seconds of work, and then you get a very quick 10 second break. Goes that break is fast. It's gonna go by fast. First one we're gonna do is gonna be either a forward and back hop or a one, two, three, four. Throughout today's workout, you have a choice to make which move is more appropriate for you. I'm light and on the balls of my feet, jumping forward and back, where Claudia is stepping forward and back. One, two, three, like four. Like I'm stepping over an imaginary line. Exactly. Both of us, really. All right, we're gonna get this first step, first set going here in five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're both staying nice and light on the balls of our feet. And we're getting as many repetitions in as you can in this 20 second time period. So just keep it moving. Hot feet, hot feet is the name of the game. Stand light. Five, four, three, two, one, break. All right. 10 seconds. Quick 10 seconds. Yep. To catch your breath. And as you get into this, feel more comfortable. Starting again in three, up. two, one. Here we go. Here we are. This is one of the moves. Anytime we're doing plyometric moves, you really want to absorb your own energy. You don't want to be making big pounding noises, but instead you want to be returning energy back into the ground. Keep those knees bent. In five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, that's it. Two Ooh. down, two to go. It's also a great agility move as well as being as well as being a good endurance move. Two, one, let's get started. Here we are, two down, two to go. Hot feet, hot feet, let's go. Throughout the course of today's workout, you're gonna realize it's gonna be more mental than anything. It's so important that you remind yourself what it is brought you here today. Stay focused on it. What is Five, it that motivates four, you? Four, three, two, one, break. One That's more. It. That's it. Woo. Take it loose. Three down, one to go right here, Tribe. Let's go, Tribe. In two, one, and let's get started. This is All the right, last one. Make it count. Last one right here. Hot feet, hot feet, hot feet. Making sure to breathe. Whatever you do, don't hold your breath. Got about 10 more seconds. Come on, pushing it, pushing it. Pushing yourself because nobody else In can five, or will do four, it for you. Three, two, one, break. All right, we're gonna get your upper Ooh. body on the next one. Let's go ahead and move to the floor. I'm gonna get into a bear plank position. And Claudia is gonna go ahead and get into a high plank from her knees. So I'm on all fours and I come up off of my knees. Claudia's gonna stay on her knees, keep her back straight. I'm gonna lower myself from this position into a low plank position, and then press up back into the high plank. Claudia's doing the same thing, but staying on her knees. We're gonna go up and down, alternating which side you go down on first for 20 seconds straight. Yep. All right, let's get it going here. Two, one, zero, begin. Very important on this one that you keep your core nice and tight, core and back stay straight, and keep track of which arm you go down on because you need to alternate every single time. We don't want to only be working one side. Three, two, one, and break. Excellent, you're gonna feel this Ooh. one all over from your legs to your abs, shoulders, triceps, chest, all getting hit on this one. And three, two, one, let's begin guys. All right, let's go. 
And again, it's your job to push yourself and to get as many repetitions in as you can in this allotted time period while maintaining proper form. Come on, let's go. What do you got, guys? And we have five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, that's it. Shake those arms loose. Two down, two to go. I don't know if it's warm in here or what, but I'm already, warm. Got, already got the sweat and two, going. Two, one, and begin. All right, come on. Let's go, guys. Come on. Everything you got right here, one rep into the next. Keep that core tight. Back stays straight. If you're doing this one from your knees, make sure to try to keep your hips down. Keep that core nice and engaged. Almost and there. Three, two, one, and break. Ah, that's it. Okay. Ooh, that was the third one, right? Three down. That's it. Three Ooh. down. One to go. These breaks so are going so by fast. fast. All right, guys. In two, one, and begin. Here it is. Last one. Push yourself, guys. This is it right here. Not trying to be better than anybody else. Just trying to be a little bit better than we were yesterday. Trying to defeat that you from yesterday that couldn't do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're up on Ooh. our feet for the next one. Whew, let that upper body rest. The legs are going to get it now. We're going to go either a broad jump or a bunny hop forward. So I'm going one big jump. Claudia's doing multiple. And then we're going to go high knee back. Repeat. You decide which one of these is right for you. Either way, here we are. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. I'm going one big broad jump. And I'm really absorbing that weight in my hips. And then backwards. I'm going to turn this way so I can get a bigger jump. There you go. And five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, that's it. Ooh. One down, three to go. If you're doing the broad jump, really land with that weight in your hips. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, begin. That's it. Big power, guys. Everything you got. Again, pushing that pace. Getting as many as you can in. Get that heart rate up and getting that work in right here. That's it. What is it that brought you here? What motivates and you? And three, two, one, and break. All right, two Ooh. down, two to go. <sighs> Feeling good. Shake yep. those legs out. Come on. Where you at, Tribe? Where you All at? Right, three, two, one. Let's begin. Nice. Make sure to breathe. And you want soft landings on every jump and on every high knee. Putting that energy back into the ground. And five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ooh, all right. Oh my goodness. Almost there, almost there, guys. Whew. Couple deep breaths. Yep, you got about three seconds. And Finish three. Finish strong. Finish strong. Two, one, begin. Let's hit it, everybody. Last round right here. Never said it'd be easy, but it will be worth it. Come on. Pushing yourself, everybody. Push yourself. Let's go. Let's what go. you got? What you got? You choose which move is right for you. All right. In three, two, one, and break. Ah, Whew. excellent. All right. Our next move really emphasizes the core. We're going to start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're both going to do the same move, so you decide what intensity is right for you. Hands are clapped together in front. Arms are parallel to the ground. Elbows are bent at a 90. We're going to do a rotating elbow. We're going to rotate and twist to our right. Act like you're trying to strike somebody with that elbow. Actually twist and pivot your legs and then back to the opposite side. Act like you got a target right here in front of you and you're trying to blast through that target with your elbows. Yes. All right, here we are. In three, two, one, zero. Boom, everything you got. Twist and pivot with those feet. At the same time, channel that inner Mike Tyson. <laughs> Get those hips going, core working together. Boom, big power every time. Feel that core engage. Not just about swinging those arms. Three, two, one, break. That's it, not just about Ooh. swinging those arms, but really engaging hamstrings, glutes, lower back and abs. All right guys, in three, two, one, let's go. Boom, big power, side to side. 20 seconds of it. Let's go. Come on. You're a powerhouse, power factory. Let's go. You're the mitochondria. 
Let's go a little science there for you, a little science analogy. One rep into the next. Come on. Boom. <laughs> big power, big power. What you got? Almost Three, there. Two, one, break. Ah, oh. two down, two to go. My goodness. Almost there. Ooh. Come on, read it out, guys. What'd all you right. come Three, here for, Tribe? What'd you come two, here for? One, go. Let's go. Put it all out there. This is an easy one to slack on if you let yourself, but don't allow it. Only be cheating yourself. Come on, big power. Big power, what you got? Almost there. In three, two, one, break. Ah, one more. It. Three down, one to go. Ooh. Working on that core, working on those obliques with this one. All right, guys, in three, two, one, here we go. Come on, power it up, power it up. Remind yourself, what is it that motivates you? Something made you click on this video today. What is it, what brought you here? 10 seconds. It's gonna be the same thing that gets you through. Come on. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Whew. What do we got next? Oh, moving to the floor next. Down to the floor. We have a wide grip mountain climber. So we're gonna have your fingers out, facing outward, arms or hands are placed wide, core is tight, back is straight. I'm gonna do a traditional mountain climber. And I'm gonna do the modified version where I'm stepping up and then stepping back down and alternating. Either way, we're keeping our core tight, back straight. Yep. You decide what's right for you. Here we are in three, two, one, zero. It's showtime, everybody. This is it right here. That's what you came here for. Let's go. Let's push it. If it were easy, everybody be fit, and it wouldn't be so special. But they're not. That's what makes you so special for three, showing up today. Two, one, break. That's it. Oh, man. One down. Three to go, this break's gonna go fast. All right, we got five more seconds before we start again. Get your mind right. Get your mind right, and two, one, let's go. That's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where you at, Hasfit Tribe? Come on. Remember thousands, maybe even millions doing the same routine, feeling that same burn. We're right there with you. Come on, Tribe. Let's go, grind it out. Grind it out. And five, four, three, two, one, break. Woo. I am, I got a nice little pool of sweat <laughs> developing over here. All right, Must guys. be working. All right, we are halfway through in two, one, let's begin. These breaks go by fast. Two down, two to go. What you got, Tribe, what you got? Put it all out there. Show us what you got. Get that core tight, back stay straight. Get as many repetitions in as you can. One right and into three, the next. Two, one, break. Ah. Ooh. Three down, one to go. It's all mental from here, everybody. The last one, you got Not five more physical, seconds. But that mental toughness. Two. Prove it to yourself. One. Let's go, guys, last one. Prove it to yourself, how tough are you? Not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard are you willing to work for it. Putting in that work right here, rep by rep. Every step getting you that much closer to your goals. Come on, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And three, two, one, break. Ah. Ooh. All right, we're turning over onto our backs now. Yeah. Staying on the floor. Let's do it. Doing a lion bicycle. Two different variations for you. We got harder and harder. We're going, I'm gonna keep <laughs> my feet up and my head up the whole time. I'm gonna bring opposite elbow to knee, return, and lion bicycle. And I'm gonna return back to the bottom position, both my upper body and my legs. So you decide what's right for you. Right. Get started. Three, two, one. Zero, keeping constant, keeping your abs under constant tension definitely makes this one harder by keeping your feet and upper body up, but you need a little moment to rest. Go ahead and put those feet down in between. Come on. Three, two, one, and break. Ah, Ooh. burn so good, everybody. Yep. Burn so good. Bicycles are my favorite. Ooh. Love, hate relationship. Love, hate. All right, and two, one, let's go. When you start to let's feel go. that, when you start to feel that burn kick in, you just gotta remind yourself that that's just lactic acid. It's just the muscle fuel that your muscles use. You don't have to listen to it. You gotta push past it. Come on. Breathe and Three, move. Three, two, one, and break. All right. Ooh. Two down, two to go. Halfway point, guys, halfway point. Go to your happy place on these. All right, and we're starting again in two. One, let's go. Whew. 
Grind them out, everybody. Grind them out. How many can you get? Just about coming back, getting a little bit better every time. Not about being perfect. Not about competing with anybody but yourself. That's right. And two, one, and break. All right, three down, one to go. One more, guys, one more. I don't know about you out there, Tribe, but my abs are on fire. All right, here we go. In two, one, last round, guys, last round. Well, I'm pushing past it, pushing through. Come on, let's push together, everybody. Push together. Come on, come on. What you got? Put it all out there. Getting a little bit closer every rep. Last set of these, last set. Almost to that finish line. And two, one, and break. Ah, uh, excellent. Oh, man. We're up on our feet for the next one. I'm gonna do a reach jump. Claudia's gonna do a reach squat. squat. So feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna throw my arms down, put energy in my weight and my hips, and then I'm gonna explode up. I'm gonna jump up and reach. And I'm gonna explode up onto my toes and reach up towards the ceiling. You decide which one's right for you. Either way, you know the drill. 20 seconds of work. Let's hit it in three, two, one, zero. It's all about repetitions on this one. Big power, getting as many reps in as you can. One squat right into the next. And really, whether you're doing the squat or the jump, you're both, either way, you're putting that weight back into your hips and then exploding up. Three, two, one, break. Ah, that's it. Woo, and if you need to alternate between the two of these. That's right. You start with the harder one, you move to the easier yep. one. Yep. Make this work out your own. All right, starting again in two, one, let's go. Big power, either way. Weight goes back in the hips and explode. Like you're sitting back into a chair, exploding up onto the balls of those feet. And reach. Make reach. sure to breathe, don't hold that breath. Reach. Almost there, almost there. Two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Ooh. Shake those legs out. I love this one, this is a good one. Put some burn in my quad. Ooh. I like it though. All right guys, in three, two, one, here we go. Two down, two to go. Where are you at, Hasbro Tribe? Remember, it's all mental. Prove to yourself today how tough you are. I'm not just talking physically, I'm talking mentally. Come on, gut check time. Let's go, come on. You can do this, you can do anything. Two, one, break. Ah, shake those legs out. Just okay. one more of these. One more. That's it, come on. Starting again in two, one, here we go, last 20 seconds. Come on, That's make it. it count. Last 20 seconds. Everything you got right here. Big power, don't stop, don't stop. Let's go, kick it up a notch. Don't stop when it hurts. Stop when you're done. Come on. All right, in three, two, one, and break. Excellent. Whew. We're moving to the floor for the next one. So this leg's a little bit of a break. Going to a prone position, lying flat on our stomachs. Arms are out in front, legs are behind us. I'm gonna bring both my legs and upper body up. Well, Claudia is only gonna bring her upper body up. We're gonna pull back from the elbows, extend the arms. Skydiver pullbacks. Here we are. And three, two, one, and pull back. Just an isometric hold. Keeping that upper body up and legs optionally up. Keeping your head in neutral position with your spine. So staring down at the ground. And pull back on those elbows. Squeeze your back. And two, one, break. Ooh, rest. Ah. rest. I know, <laughs> we're hurting. Good. Feeling good. Hurting with you, let's yeah, that's do this. It. That's it. Two, one, get back down there, coach, and All go. All right, come on. That's it, break time's over. All right, guys, this is the second round. Be sure to keep your glutes nice and tight if you're doing the version that Coach Kozak is doing and just pulling back on those elbows. We're about halfway through. This one doesn't look like much, but it will kick Catch your butt. Up to you. All right, guys, in three, two, one, break. All right, we got 10 seconds of rest right here. It's a great one for your total posterior chain. Yep. Whole back, hamstrings, glutes, all getting hit. All right, down to the ground. I'm starting again in two, one, go ahead. Let's go. Two down, two to go. Pull those elbows, pull those elbows. What you got right here, guys? One rep, and into the next. Squeeze that back. Remembering to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Let's go, what you got, what do you got? 
What out there, tribe? Here we go. In three, two, one, break. <sighs> All right, 10 seconds break. Last three down. One. One to go, right here. That's right. Pushing through. We're right there with you, everybody. Come on. All right, and last round, beginning now. Let's Ooh. go. That's it, that's it. 10 seconds goes by fast. Yes, it does. Every rep, getting you just that much closer to your goal. To your halfway point right here. Burn it out, burn them out. Come on, don't quit, don't quit. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Fighter, not a quitter. Three, two, one, break. Ah, oh excellent. my goodness, all right. All right, we're up on our feet. Here we go. We're gonna get those legs working on this next one. We're gonna go reverse lunge plus twist. Mm -hmm. Feet are shoulder width apart. Step back with one leg into reverse lunge, twist into the opposite direction. As I come up, I'm gonna bring my knee up and Claudia is just gonna stand up. That's right, we're doing all one side to begin with. You decide which variation is right for you. Here we are. And three, two, one, zero. Go ahead and twist into that side of that front leg. Core stays tight. If you are bringing that knee up, stay in balance and you're twisting back into that knee Keeping your core tight. Use those abs, no matter which one you're doing. All right, in three, two, one, and break. All right, now we're switching sides. Hop to the side, now that's Going it. Going back with the left leg, or whichever leg you started with. Whew, and Here we two, go, here we go. One, go. Trying our best to get both knees to drop to about a 90 degree angle. That'll ensure that we're keeping our knees nice and safe and healthy. Distributing our weight evenly. Great one for your hamstrings, glutes, quads, and core. All right, in three, two, one, ah. break. Ooh. 10 seconds. Maybe getting shaky there at the end. It's all right, it's not about being perfect. All right. It's about putting in the work. Opposite side, and three, two, one, here we go. Halfway done. Come on, let's go. Stay focused on what you're doing, rep by rep. Stay focused on why you're here. What is it? What motivates you? Trying to lose weight, get more toned, just be more fit, or just be better at life. Two, one, and break. Whatever it is. Last one. Stay focused on it. Last one. Come on. Whew. All right, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Woo, focus on that form. It's not about speed, it's just about you versus you, right here. That's it. A little bit better than you were yesterday. That's right. Rep by rep. Putting in that work. All right, guys, you have about three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice. All right. All right, we're moving to the floor. We're going to do a lateral plank walk. I'm going to do it from a bare plank position, meaning off of all fours, my knees are up. Claudia's going to be in a high plank position. We're going to walk side to side with both our feet and our hands working and walking together, keeping our core tight and straight. Total body move on this one. Here we are, and three, two, one, zero. Important on this one that you don't let your butt come up and you don't let it sink. And that you don't hold your breath. That's it, you hold your breath, you're gonna be sorry. Yep. Come on, keep it moving, keep that head in a nice neutral position. Slight bend in those elbows. All right, in three, two, one, Break. Ah, that's it. One down, three to go, everybody. Stay right. tough, stay tough. That's right, stay in it, stay in it. That's it, keep your right. head in it, here we are. In three, two, one, go. Bending those elbows. Core stays tight, you got it. Don't stop moving. Don't let your butt up, don't let it sink. It's you versus you. What'd you come here for, everybody? What is it, tribe? What are you working on? That's it, every step. Three, two, one, break. Ah, Ooh. two down, two to go, come We're on. We're halfway there. That's it. You're a fighter, not a quitter. That's right. Let's see it right, right here. All right, guys, in two, one, let's go. Come on, keep it up. Don't stop, no quitting you, no stopping you. Come on, let's go. How hard are you willing to work for it? Right here. Don't let anybody outwork you. You might be more talented than you, have more natural gifts, but they can outwork you Three, right here. Three, two, one, break. Ah. You guys, we have one more to go. That's it, one right more here. To go. Finish strong. Let's go, Hashtag Almost to the cool down. That's it. <laughs> We're right there with you. Two, one, last 20 seconds. Come on. Go. Make it count, everybody. Make it count. Core tight, abs are tight, 
and engage. Whew. Make you sure guys, to you breathe. have 10 seconds. Almost there, almost there. Fight with us, everybody. Fight with us. Where are you at, Hesper Try? Where are you at? Two, one, zero. Ha! Ah. Oh. Couple big wow. deep breaths. You made it. <sighs> so did we. Ha. <laughs> Barely, but we made it. Ah, touch and go there for a little bit. <laughs> Come on up slow. Yes, nice and slow. <sighs> We're gonna move into a cool down. Ooh. And the main purpose of the cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly and at the same time gain some added mobility and flexibility. We're gonna start with a toe touch to scarecrow. Standing up, feet are together. I want you to go ahead and bring your, push your hips back, slight bend in your knees as you reach down and try to touch those toes or your knees or the ground depending on your flexibility. Go ahead and allow the head and neck to round a little bit as you reach down. I want you to come up, bring those arms up all the way up and now pull down from the elbows and do a scarecrow repeat nice and slow reach all the way down come up slow now pull down from those elbows repeat Ooh, this feels so good after that workout and again coming up slow from that toe touch position i know i read a lot of comments about some people Wanting to pass out. I'm just telling you, go very slow. That's it. Not a race now. The race is over with. That's right. Take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. A lot of things you could have been doing today and spending your time, but you wisely chose to get a workout in. That's right. You're investing in yourself. That's it. I like it. You should be proud of yourself for that. Like I said, if we're easy, everybody be doing it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we're gonna move to the ground for the next one. We're gonna get into a crab position. We're gonna do a crab shoulder extension. So sitting down on your backside, fingers are pointing back behind us. Arms are straight. Ooh, my shoulder needs this one. <laughs> She's already feeling it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna scoot our butt forward as far as we can until we start to feel a good stretch on our shoulders. And all these static stretches, you wanna take them to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. You wanna feel a good stretch but you don't want to be inducing pain. Get those arms straight. Move, move your butt as far forward as it takes to feel a good stretch. You want those arms straight on this one. And we're just holding. Nothing fancy on this one. Just did a lot of work on those shoulders today and got to do a little recovery here. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come on up slowly. slowly. Now we're gonna get to one knee. We're gonna do a kneeling hip stretch. This one's great for your hip flexors as well as your quads. Come on up onto one knee if you need to. You can place a mat or a pillow, anything like that underneath your knee for comfort. Oh, 90 degree angles all around. I want you to squeeze your glutes and squeeze your abs. Squeeze. Now, you might already feel a big stretch in those uh, quadriceps and hip flexor and not even need to do the second part, but if you don't, not yet, go ahead and bring your hips forward. Just about an inch or two is all it takes to feel that big stretch all down your quadricep and in your hip flexor. All while maintaining that nice squeeze on your glutes and your abs. Don't right. ever lose that squeeze. And that's what helps us to emphasize and isolate the quads and hip flexors. Otherwise, you can come all the way down here and not feel anything. So we need to keep those abs tight, keep those glutes tight. Squeeze, squeeze. And squeeze, good posture. That's it, let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Switching sides now. Here we go, finish this last side strong. Again, good posture, squeeze those abs, squeeze those glutes, and ever so slowly inch your body weight forward so you feel that nice stretch in your quadriceps and in the hip flexors. And again, if you need to put a pillow, a mat, or something underneath your stationary knee or your knee that's on the bottom, do that. That's it. Just take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today, everybody. No matter what the rest of the day brings you, you can feel accomplished, feel proud of yourself for checking this one off the list and doing what you, what you know you needed to be done. Discipline is doing what needs to be done even when you don't want to. That's right. And here we are. Three, two, one, zero. Come on up slowly. Shake those legs loose. You made it. You made it. You did. Excellent work out there, Has your Tribe. We appreciate you and all of your hard work. If you like this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, 
we encourage that you please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of workouts just like this one and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, come find us, connect with us, because we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.